Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's side quest time, baby! Because now we've got a bunch of stuff unlocked, so wow, why not? <laughs> but first, we've got to kind of work our way back out of here, though. I mean, it's, we're, yeah, it's, it's a long road. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's still more to go back through here, and oh shoot, I forgot that was there! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I actually got it! Can I... is it possible for me to get it back? Maybe? Maybe? No, I guess not. Well... Well... <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot there's one there. Oh, well, well, and there, there, there's the shop at the village and whatnot, but <laughs> I don't even know why I went back to that other one, I mean, that, that other corner. I knew the way back was this way, and I'm trying to rush back down there anyway, so. Yeah, you might recall there was some fiery lava pillars up over here. Oh, it appears everything went well. You must be quite the musician. Will you go directly to the fire temple now? Not sure, I got side quests and, hmm, I see. Well, at least try to remember this. There's a gate to the fire temple that is protected by three locks, but some mischievous monsters stole all the keys. Without getting, <laughs> without getting all the keys back from the monsters, you can't open the doors. Did you write all that down? Eh, no need. You should take this very seriously. <laughs> well, even though you're acting flippant, I will share this with you. The people of the mountain village know a lot about the monsters nearby. It would be wise of you to ask them for advice. So, I, I'll do some chatting with them a little bit later. So, what, what, actually, what, you know what I'll do here? Just just, just to make them happy here, I'll, I'll go over here. Three... Keys, good, good. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be talking to them more later on here, because, you know, this is gonna be posts time to chat with people anyway. Is something the matter? Okay, so you uh, absolutely are done talking to me about the Mega Ice now at this point. By the way, you'll notice that you kind of kind of sink in this stuff. Yeah, um, it, it's like Link's legs do indeed melt into it or something. They reform when you get back out of it. So Mega Ice. Uh, yes, let's, yes. Okay, well, let's be careful. <laughs> so the Mega Ice. Let's go back over to the Wellspring Station. Eventually, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be anything waiting for us on the way back. I just remembered I had to put a doodle on this por portion of the map to remind myself to come back later. But for now, here we are. Wellspring Station. <laughs> Alright, so... I should also probably mark that ice is over here on the map, but I probably won't forget. Hey, guy, look who's back for more Mega Ice! Yeah, yeah, the price is 50 rupees! So I negotiated him down from 100 rupees last time, so... Yeah, that's why he's telling me to, uh... Yeah... I mean, that it's for 50 rupees. Alrighty, so... <laughs> yes, I remember, I remember. Just, just keep... Gotta keep going fast. And you can't stop for no one. No one. Well, preferably. <laughs> it's awfully quiet here. I guess Ferris must be out snapping chain photos as usual. Yes, let's. <laughs> yeah, he's over by... Well, nearby, I should say, the Snow Temple. But we're, that's a part of another side quest that's kind of out, out of the way at the moment. So let's just go ahead and continue on our... Mega Ice Delivery. So, you know, as, as before with deliveries, I'm not gonna cut ahead because I might get attacked by something or whatnot, so... Yeah, I might end up losing some Mega Ice. Now, also, before taking your Mega Ice on a trip like I am here, you might want to save your game so that you can restart this without spending 50 rupees every time to restart. Just saying, but I can't kind of do that because of the walkthrough thing, you know, I only save between parts for the sake of, you know, in case something messes up with the recording or whatnot and I have to redo a part, so I'm taking a higher risk than need be, <laughs> at least if I was playing the game normally. So yeah, save your game at the Wellspring Station after buying yourself some of the old ice and then have a good old time taking it back. 
Now remember, we need to have at least 10 chunks of that Mega Ice left to get those remaining two magma streams cooled down. And, oh, I was actually expecting there to be something over here. You know, like before, and we have to take the long way around? Hmm. Well then. Well then. Well, <laughs> I could just do that then, can't I? Hmm. Hmm. At least it seems like it. At least I believe you can. But yeah. <laughs> so I guess it doesn't really matter much how, uh, if I, you know, if I were to take those routes or something like that. That's that's nice and convenient. <laughs> There's, there's gonna be no cutscene making a death train appear over here, I, I suppose? So oh, that's good, that's good, okay. <laughs> no problem then whatsoever, we should be able to easily get 10 chunks of Mega Ice over there by the end of it. Or will we? Oh god, there's something on the ceiling! No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Every time I go in a cave now, it's like I'm traumatized. And by the way, before before you leave the cave, I don't know, well, maybe, well I guess we could test that because we're not going to lose that much. I was going to say, before we leave the cave, we might want to slow down the train, because otherwise we're going to have to break suddenly. We could lose ice, but no, I guess not. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like that it wants to topple over. <laughs> Alright, 17 chunks of Mega Ice. We go! Wait, what am I? Well, actually, you know what? Let's <laughs> buy, buy another shield. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah. D wow. Maybe not here. <laughs> That's an awfully pricey shield. <laughs> and we don't need a shield for a while, so we're we're, we're okay with that. <laughs> we're better off going to Castle Town for a shield. Yeah, it, it's it's continually melts. But anyway, it's something the matter. I got it. I got it. What a go getter. And thus, they are all melted. Good work, Captain! I am a big fan of yours, and now I am full of grateful feelings! Which means I'm gonna give you a Force Gem! Woohoohoo! Victory over the lava! Well, actually, ma well, yeah, lava, I was gonna say magma, but no, 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 it's it's lava. The Force Gem has energized rail map, new tracks have appeared! Great, I cannot wait to start loafing around at home! Yay! Laziness! <laughs> so, let's see what his home is like now. Woo. It's still kind of hot there, I think I need new shoes too. Ah, home, sweet home. I love it so much, I might never go outside again. I really hope that those... Lava plumes do not start up again, otherwise you're gonna have kind of some issue. <laughs> Alright, and we're going back over to Castle Town next. How's that sound? Let's, yes, let's, let's go over to the Fire Temple. I just rolled my eyes, but you couldn't see me. <laughs> Alright, so... Well, actually, mm, I guess I could go down that way to show you something, but it's, it's not, I don't think it's going to be very useful to where I want to go next. So you know what, I, I won't cut ahead or anything like that, let's just keep going on ahead. Shall we? Shall we? Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead, trek down those tracks that we got all fresh and new, well, I guess they're not really fresh and new, because, you know, we're, we're, we're on the trek to restore the spirit tracks that were all around the land, and yeah, there's only so far we can go by getting new rail maps <laughs> to this uh, spirit temple, so yeah, so here we are, going into a deserty area, ooh, ooh, oh man, so interesting, but wait, but wait, there's an arch over there with a green gem on top. We haven't seen one of those before. Now what, what, would, what would happen if we were to say, you know, well first, let's make a mark on our map over here. Yeah, something like that, that'll, that'll do. Let's shoot that. Oh man! Oh man, we have activated the door to Hades! Eh? What in the world could this be? 
Some text is appearing. It's fading and I can't... And I can't make it out very much. Let's see... I mean, this is Zelda talking. Pass through the gate either way! Steam whistle will open! Uh, I don't understand it all. What does it mean? It means this! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, we, well, now we open the door to Hades. This transports us, yes, to the ocean realm. As I said, that wasn't very useful or anything like that. Goodness, what was that light? It seemed to teleport us somewhere else. This must be how ancient people travel back and forth between realms. We should make note of these spots so we can teleport. Being able to move around like this will be very useful in the future. So, yeah, that's... So now we have unlocked the... I'll actually show you this here. I'll move a little bit forward. Uh, we've unlocked a two-way gate now, because now that one before did not have any sort of gem on it. So, yeah, I can now do that, and I should also erase these things, since I don't need to toot my own horn over here at those spots. Now, what we also want to do here is, just for the sake of uh, remembering where each gate goes, we're going to go ahead and mark stuff thusly. And I suppose we will just continue on this way then, um, I suppose, I suppose, may, well I guess maybe that's not all that useful to get back to Castle Town. Let's, let's go back the other way actually, <laughs> not that I think about it, um, so yeah, so you get, you see, you shoot, you shoot, get that gem activated, well actually it's, it's already yellow so we don't have to. So the thing about it is that once you get near this, then you blow the, the whistle, so yeah, you don't only have to blow up one gem to activate both gems, I guess. And then it poops you back out over here. Please don't poop me out backwards, thank you. That would, that would make things even longer. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I think it, yeah, it's gonna, I think it's going to be significantly faster going that way. And whoops, I didn't mean to... Well, that'll do. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Yeah. 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 Alright, Castletown. I just realized I went too far ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to come down and show you these tracks because these are the new portions of the tracks that I marked out. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll show them on my way back to Castletown. And then I got over to here and I blew up the sign. And that was. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> So yeah, there's actually another one of these sorts of gates over here, which I guess we could activate on our way back, but eh, 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 I, I, mm, it, it'll be a little while before we come back through here again, so let's just put a little thing or thing a jigger there, and we'll also put a, that's kind of a bad triangle, but yeah, that's like, wow, that's, I, I can't even, I can't even say that's a triangle. It's more like a wedge. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. The reason why is because the start of them, uh, you always have to go back to those sorts of ones first before the other one will act, like the corresponding one will activate. And yeah. <laughs> so the thing about that is, um, oh yeah, there's also these new tracks over here. Oh, this is actually further away from the castle than I thought. Ah, poopers. <laughs> Well, well, maybe we can come across a rabbit or something like that. But yeah, the uh, thing about them is that you, you kind of do want to activate them eventually, just now, just for the sake of speeding things along. Man, this one is this is a dangerous set of tracks. <laughs> so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get get to all of them eventually, but I'm just trying not to go out of my way too much thus far, so yeah. And by the way, um, you also notice that there are seemingly areas that where tracks can appear, and that is in indeed a place where tracks can appear later on, so yeah, yeah, just keep that in mind if you if you kind of forget about other sorts of tracks, like if you, if, if you want to mark them down or something like that in the future. And oh shoot, I just realized that was that was totally taking the wrong route. Well, actually, I should, I'm better off turning around now. But well, anyway, now that I'm on familiar tracks, I guess I could just cut ahead anyway. Wow, those demon trains are uh, in a pretty nice combination, I must say. <laughs> Castle Town. 
Alright, prepare your song of birds, because, well, we, really? <laughs> oh, looks like your train can transport cargo now, so how about bringing me some yummy fresh fish? I'm hungry, so I'd like ten of them at least, what do you say? Yeah, so now we gotta go back to the, well that's the, the ocean town place, Papuchia village, but the thing about it now is that we, now that we have the powers of the birds, uh, wait, it was, wait, what was, oh, I forgot the song of birds, uh, oh, I know, I don't use it all that often, hold on, hold on, collection, spirit flute, wait, no, it was purple, yellow, purple, okay, <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I thought I played that, but never mind. <laughs> so, with the power of the birds. Uh, maybe that I'm too far away from where I need it to be, but the power of the birds. Okay, yeah, yeah there I go. It allows me to get some of the cuckoos that fly out of their den, and yeah, now. <laughs> We have tamed the powers of the cuckoo! So now we can use this to get on top of the rooftops and hopefully be able to get that treasure chest. Hopefully. Uh, just looking for a, a good spot to jump off of to get up there. I think. I'm, yeah, I'm looking for the. Um, yeah, that. Uh, can I, like, go from here to there? I think. Ooh! Nope, I guess I can't. I guess I can't. <laughs> so how did I get that treasure chest before? Did I hop off of here and get on top of there, or...? Hmm... Hmm... Oh yeah, there's also that treasure chest too, that's another... another sort of part of it, but... <laughs> I really want to get those chests though, just for the sake of getting those chests. So let's try and play around with these things here. Yeah, it might actually be from over here, because it's... Higher up, perhaps, maybe? Woo! Uh, I lost my Google! <laughs> Alright, guys, I need another Google. Need. <laughs> where, where are those? Okay, there we go. Alright, I'll keep playing around until I'm able to get on top of the rooftops. Ah, there we go! I guess you just start there. <laughs> That will do, that will do indeed. Oh, except when you get over to that one. Yeah, yeah, that's not working out well. <laughs> so I guess I didn't have to cut ahead to, at this point here, but I will have to cut ahead later. Like, why did I think I could make that jump over to the left there? You could see that that was far too wide of a gap. <laughs> so I guess I'm able to jump rooftops closer to that spot there. Okay, there we go, there's this treasure chest. Alright, Pearl Necklace, that's one treasure... Woo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> just keep losing my cuckoos! I keep losing my cuckoos, man! I'm going cuckoo for the cuckoos! Or loco for the cuckoos! Just get... <laughs> okay. This wouldn't let me grab it, dang it. I thought we tamed those birds, but no, no, they lost their tame status. After the Song of Birds wore out, they're too wild for most humans. Far too wild. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try jumping off here this time, because it's about the same distance as that other one. Oops. Ah, poopers. Ah, okay. Those other cuckoos should come down from their spots eventually, right? Oh, poopers, I missed again. <laughs> yeah, they should come back down when they're hungry or something. Okay. Start here. Not so far left again. There we go. I said there we go, but that was not a there we go. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, I think I ran out of cuckoos too. Oh, no, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, so I guess that house is a bit too far. Like, maybe I got down uh, on top of that house and it wasn't that other one. So let's try this one. Yay, cuckoo guy. Wait, no. no! Come on! Come on! Why? This, is, this should not be this difficult! I, I just want to explore the places that I haven't explored before! <laughs> just end up jumping off every place that I don't want to and jumping two places and losing my cuckoos. I'm going loco! Okay, okay. Seriously? You can't just like... 
<laughs> it's, I, I should not be having this much difficulties. I mean, I know I can't drop the cuckoo in mid-air, but the, it's, it's still... It's, uh, uh, I thought there's enough distance between the stuff that I shouldn't have that much issue, but I guess I'm just going to have to like drop it here or something like that. Okay. Okay, don't... Don't... You know what, I, I'll just try... Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot, don't! No, dear lord. Oh, good news, Link. My cuckoos are getting so big, it's almost time to start selling them. If you hear of anyone who wants to buy some cuckoos, please let me know. The price is 50 rupees for five birds. Is that a screaming deal or what? I'd like to purchase some of these fine fowl? Later. There's someone at the uh, aboard a village that would like some, but we're not really interested in that right now. What we can do is grab another cuckoo and get on with the jumpos. Uh, actually, uh, I don't know if I can, like... Uh, can I get from here to there? I don't... Let's see. Nope, you just automatically jump off. So how do I get to that one over there? Let me try something fancy here. Let's try going from here over to this house and then over to one of these pillars these lion statues ah, oh, that might be how it is <laughs> I just thought this might be it because it, it looks like it's the same height as the other houses so let's just try it here oh that yeah that actually might be it as awkward as it is it's been so long since I got these chests I completely forgot how I got these chests before <laughs> oh shoot one left Ah, one leg got left up there, but I thought I would try to get onto that one and then onto this one, but no, nah, no, nah, I guess it's just a little teensy tiny too far. And anyway, I think I gotta. I, I think I ran out of my foul. <laughs> so let's just get him down from the top of the roof there, and. Everyone, everyone, yay! You love me again! <laughs> okay. Carefully aim myself. Okay, we're good. And yeah, there we go. Finally, <laughs> a palace dish. Woo! That is sort of worth it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and get from this roof to that roof. Nah, I guess it doesn't work at that angle. So then, I must have to be able to get to that from the other side, like where those other, like where it stretches out over here. Maybe, because that looks like the closest stretch between uh, edges. So let's go back around, and I mean all the way around, and see what the poop I can do with this chicken. So, uh, like, I, I, I can jump over there, but then I can't jump over to this roof, and this, oh, this has got a little, little barricade, so let's try, yeah, all the way over here. Yeah, okay, that worked. That worked. Oh, no, I didn't want to throw you off. The well, it doesn't matter, I guess. I got a wood heart. Woo! I didn't want to throw you off the edge because, yeah. <laughs> it's that other cuckoo that's up there, but we've seen that there's nothing up there anyway. Alright. That wood heart probably was the least worth it of the bunch. And now... Oh! My husband has vanished. Where could he have gone? He's such a gentleman. You should see how he was with rabbits. Oh, he's not hurt. Oh, whatever has happened to him. Have you heard anything about where he is? Yup. Really? Can you take me to him? Okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet husband. I can't wait to see him again. Let's leave soon. I'll be waiting for you at the, tra the train. I thought you were going to go right straight through my body, but okay, you just pushed me aside. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got ourselves cuckoo clearing of this place and a uh, new passenger, let's go ahead and take her over to Ye Ol' Rabbit Sanctuary and hopefully we'll be able to do this without too many problems with demons. Uh, uh, I'll just leave it up to there because I don't know how the second one's gonna go. This one, this one will probably won't cause us too much ire, so... We'll, we'll see when we get up there, where where they decide to go, and then we'll, we'll play it from there. Because I always seem to get trapped around this corner for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just how things seem to go. Alright, so... We're going we're gonna to try our best to make our 
ornery yet semi-loving passenger happy. And okay, so it's gonna turn that way. So we're gonna follow that, I think. Just in case we don't get like just just in case so we don't get trapped or anything like that. And I don't know how this one's gonna go that away. I hope it's not gonna go straight. Uh, you are going straight. Uh, man. Well, okay, you're gonna turn. Okay, okay, that that I can work with. <laughs> that I can work with. And luckily, there hasn't been any sort of signs that I haven't been paying attention to while I have been looking around for uh, the way that the demon trains are going. Because remember, we still gotta keep our passenger happy. So. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be all that all that many issues with passengers at this point, so we should be able to just go on ahead here and have a good time. I think I'll just leave Beetle go right now. I, I still have to sell my, my ultra-expensive gem anyway, and I think just for the sake of being able to watch signs, I'm just going to draw my own path so I don't have to multitask all that much with this. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, it's behind us, we're okay. <laughs> Although that other one off to the left of us might change the music as well, and it certainly did. <laughs> That's all right with us. We, we are now off of the demon train track area, and now all we have to do is worry about spiders, which may or may not scare her if we just, like, if they touch our train or something like that. Okay, they will. They will, but I don't think they'll scare her if they don't touch the train, though, so... Oh, 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 shoot, 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 okay. Oh, 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 We're okay, though, she's still, she's still happy enough. We might not, we might not get a tip, but she's happy enough. I wonder if I should, like, uh, um, slow myself down a little bit, maybe. Maybe, just to get through this, but eh, I don't know, I'm kind of in a hurry. I've been recording for like 40 minutes now, and I'm getting impatient. <laughs> all, all that kukul, kukul time of trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, it, it, it kind of does a number on you. <laughs> but okay. We're going to the rabbit's place. And we're good, we're, we're finally good. Yeah, we can even make her happy with that extra blowing action. <laughs> All right, are you ready to stop slowly? I am ready to stop slowly, so let's get ourselves slowed down back there a little bit and begin our descent into madness. Oh no 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 no, that's, that's too close. Oh, oh oh oh, there he goes. I say it's too close to the edge. Just want to get ourselves nice and centered. <sighs> Oh, I'm so happy to see my darling husband. Thank you so much for bringing me all this way to meet him. Oh, what should I say to him? It's been so long and I've been so mad at him. Boom, 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 And then she teleports herself all the way over there really quick. He's going to speed far faster than her. Honey, what in the world are you doing? And what is this unresent thing you think of this outfit? Oh, you sounded loving for a minute there. Ah, oh, Sugar Plum, this is... it's not what it looks like. This is, this is a, a perfectly good explanation for all this. Honest, there is C. You've been frolicking with those filthy wild rabbits again, haven't you? I can't believe you do with their studio obsession with them. If I don't take care of these poor rabbits, no one will. I just don't understand. You just don't understand like, like I do. Well, you sure do look better than you know me. Do you have any idea how worried I've been about you? And I want to see you have ridiculous skew up if I can. For all I can, you can stay here with your buddies forever. <laughs> I'd like to go home now. Mr. Engineer, would you please take me back to Castletown? Alright, alright. But first, Rabbit Guy! Oh, brother, why'd you bring my old lady here? Not a bright move, genius. Well, the secret's out now. Actually, it's sort of a load off my shoulders. I'll take her back to Castletown, okay? Thanks a bunch. Alright. So, we're off back to Castletown. You know, I think I've changed my mind. I won't be heading back to town. After all, it's my husband's big heart that first drew me to him. Maybe I'm the one who needs a change how I think about things. 
You've done me a huge service in bringing me here. Thank you so much. And we get a force gem. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I touched the side. You got a force gem. The forest real map started glowing. Woo! I guess I'll explore those tracks later on. Force gem has energized the real map. New tracks have appeared. Heck. Yeah, baby. So let's do a little doodle here to mark what tracks have appeared anew, like usual, and talk to them once more. Maybe I'm the one who drove my husband to spend all this time with his rabbits. I'm going to stay here and see if I can fix things between us. Yeah, I could see her orneriness being a factor. <laughs> Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work with 70 rupees. If you can bring me 10 bunnies from the grass, you get a prize. Yay! And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we do more side quests. Yay! Or boo, depending on your perspective. <laughs>